What is up, YouTube hey gang? Thank y'all for tuning back into the shenanigans side of things. I thought we were about to head back to the funny stuff, but y'all still want us to react to the drama. So we gonna, we, like gonna, drama. we gonna stay over here for a little bit. She's we gonna stay over here for a little bit. So um, we heading into every every comedian's reaction to P Diddy. No Diddy. What? What are we yeah, doing? I guess people are reacting. I guess every comedian's reaction to P Diddy. Finding out when he got ran up in that they ran up in his crib. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, Everybody has heard about the P Diddy scandal by now. Joe Fox Hat. News, CNN, yeah, yeah. everyone. There's raids in Diddy's house. Yeah, yeah. Who was the guy that was <laughs> running around with a sports bra on? From Cat Williams' prediction on Club Shay Shay back in January. Yeah, all of these uh, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter. Said if you did it or whoever you is, TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's Jake. all. To comics talking about the diddler on stage, this is every comedian's reaction to the Diddy accusations. Starting off with Theo Von and Drewski on this past Jeez. weekend. I mean, people always would say that he might be a little rambunctious. Rambunctious is actually a great word to describe it. Yeah. That's actually a great assessment of, uh, of Daddy. <laughs> yeah, that he a rambunctious kind of guy. Yeah. But I think you also hear that about anybody that's got a lot of money. A lot of power. And a lot of power. power. Yes. Power, power. The second somebody's got a lot of power, they start saying they gay. Oh, that's one of them power gays and money gays, you know? <laughs> I don't know anybody that has said that. That's right. I feel like Diddy is on the same spectrum as R. Kelly. Like, it's been in front of our eyes, and we've been here. Well, I won't say ours, because we ain't got no power to do nothing. Let me reverse that. It's been in the eyes of them other people, and they ain't move on to nothing. Now, now y'all want to move 30 years later. Like, we've been heard about Diddy doing stuff. That's the band that raided his joint years ago. You really think this stuff's really going down with, with P. Diddy? I don't think he's the one they're after. I think they're trying to get, they're trying to raid the house, the FBI. Because they're trying to cover up their own tracks because they know he knows who's on Epstein's Island. <laughs> yeah, I right? love 100%. that. One hundred percent. And I then got another thing: Jay Z's involved in this <laughs> too, and P Diddy's the one. And then they coerced together and they made Aaliyah's plane go down. <laughs> That's a real theory. By and the way. then Jay Z got another girl pregnant, and Beyonce had her killed. Oh, I heard that. I one. think also that P Diddy, there's potential he's innocent. Do you think so? <laughs> what? Potential. His no. potential. Nice. <laughs> don't judge a book. What we're not going to do is say he innocent. We That's what we're not going to do. Because there's been too much stuff already. But I, I have I have heard some stuff about Jay-Z, though. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the name that was in Rockefeller? He he, he be talking about it. Uh, one of them, he used to be with back in the day, be talking about Jay-Z. Like, he is on some, like, he know about Aaliyah and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Like, they, they Jay-Z, so Jay-Z got some stuff to be talking about, too. By its cover, that's mm -hmm. all I'll say. What part about the what part about this story about P Diddy do you think he it must might be a misguided? I think that there's a possibility he's you know involved in all these alleged crimes, but I think there's a possibility the FBI raided the house to get evidence like cleared away that Puff Daddy probably had on all the top one percenters yeah, at sex parties saying, and though. you know the bad guys disguising themselves as the U.S. government because they're the good guys. And I think that they knew that P. Diddy had some dirt. They knew they weren't going to get him. They raided the house, took any evidence mm -hmm. that might link these top one percenters to P. Diddy sex parties. They're going to get rid of that. The thing mm -hmm. with P. Diddy will go along. But if you notice today, day one, P. Diddy in the news, what happens? Oil tanker goes into a bridge in Baltimore. Connected because it's distractions. And then <laughs> it's all distractions. Here's the, can I stop? You know what? At first, I was a little bit like, okay, you, you reach him. But he actually got some but key he, points. When, when he... Said Distraction. What he said. But I did tell you that that one day though, it was like Diddy for two days, like yeah. it was hot, and then that and then it I just told Charles, died. Was like, damn, we haven't heard nothing, and he was like, because they they are doing it, they're doing it. They won't let us forget and everything else. Diddy gonna be right back out on somebody's stage getting his the Diddy on, right? Y'all should know when that man was calling me Mill Daddy. Y'all should. I told y'all. I told. The fact that that's on video. I keep telling y'all, ain't no grown man calling me Daddy. It ain't happening. You real quick you because go. I am kind. I started out ready to make fun of your first thing, but it is I. It's it's got potential. <laughs> you be winking at him? No yeah. diddy. No diddy. No diddy. No. <laughs> Do you guys know people are saying no diddy now? Yeah, so yeah, no I love yeah. that. Like we should have kept no homo meaning what it means. Yeah, yeah. And no diddy should mean like because because were no, you a fan of pause? No, I think it's all kind of. I think pause is kind of. But if you're gonna do it, no homo should be a third thing. I mean, no diddy should be a third thing. Like a no. Yeah, or like no, no sex like, trafficking. Like no homo is when you're about to, when you when you say something gay yeah. accidentally, right? Yeah. But, okay. So no diddy could be like when you accidentally but sex traffic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, no, no. I'll just no diddy. I'm gonna separate you from your family. Nothing. Yeah. No diddy. 
stay in this room till I get back. No ditty. <laughs> there you go. Right. No, we just did it. There's food on the floor. No it's ditty. Not, it's not too late. We might y'all penetrate playing. culture. See, y'all with, here playing around. This episode. Yeah, we could. True. What do you think of D- Diddy's whole scandal? Man, I can't call it. You know who the f- knows? Because they, they're not being very specific about it. But I, but I know Homeland Security don't do co- bi coastal simultaneous right. raids. No, federal. The feds don't raid because they heard a rumor. <laughs> that's right. not how they work. Right. And that's why people have been so scared of him because we we know that he just moves differently. You know what I mean? And a lot of people been waiting on his downfall for a long time. So when the FBI was raiding, people were like, "Where is Diddy?" And you know how these kids are now? They're very smart. They can track anything. They track Diddy's plane. And so while the FBI yeah, is raiding yeah. all of his homes at one time, Diddy's plane is leaving America. <laughs> and I don't mean getting fueled up. I mean, the plane is over just blue. That's the ocean. That's <laughs> the plane is gone, right? And the plane is uh, headed for Antigua. Now, Antigua is still extradite, so a lot of people are like, why would he be going over to Antigua? Then other people said, hey, maybe he's landing in Antigua because everybody knows that's his plane. He's going to land in Antigua. He's going to get on a friend's smaller plane, and he's going to go to a country that doesn't extradite, like Bali, right? So then that plane lands in Antigua. It comes right back. When it lands, turns out Diddy was never on the plane. He was in Miami the whole time. <laughs> out here playing but though where is he though i didn't follow up with the rest of it he, like was, the, he was out he was um somewhere he was like in an island or a resort something like did that they, they catch him, him like yeah they had pictures of him on the phone pacing back and forth see i, I didn't follow yeah, the rest like i don't know if he got a car or what no he was with people and stuff like that he so what's like, going on here in court he going to court or what are we doing here i don't know i don't get that see that's what i'm saying we ain't getting no information yeah, people seen him he was outside like a hotel or a resort y'all gotta let the people home. know if y'all know something let me know because I, I ain't barely been following since this drake and kendrick stuff got cracking so i didn't got distracted but y'all gotta bring me back on the diddy stuff because he didn't disappear i don't know what's going on <laughs> this man is a terrible rapper and an incredible villain i have been <laughs> I've been thrown for a loop consistently with him. Like, this man should be in a James Bond movie. You know, my people are just waking up to how Diddy is, you know? We knew. You know how you know that we knew? Diddy's the only black billionaire we didn't root for. It's a very big deal when you get a black billionaire. We're always like, oh, damn, oh, we did, oh, we did it. Yeah, I remember when that guy... You know that, that that guy that gave the commencement speech at Morehouse, and at the end of the speech, he said he was going to pay for all the kids' student loans? That moment went viral. It was crazy. Kids were crying and everything, jumping up, screaming. I looked it up. I found the guy. His name was Robert Smith. Turns out he's a billionaire. He didn't give me any money, but I was at home like, we got another one. <laughs> Diddy became a billionaire. We were like, good for you. <laughs> The weird yeah. move is this drug mule. Are you aware of this guy? Who? Drug mule. Yeah, he's got a drug. You know you're a bad person when you don't just have a dealer, you have a mule? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, That's like a big deal a, to have a, a mule, right? Yeah. And a little offensive to mules. <laughs> he had a whole ass mule? I think, allegedly, supposedly. Oh, they had a picture see, of I'm learning something new. They had new. a picture of him, and I think they said that they got him where they were looking for him, or he went, or they got him at the police station, something like that. So yeah, and they had a whole picture of him, too. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah, he was young. That's great. Diddy out here just living, just living. I seen a picture of him in the airport, or airport, in an airplane. That is jet. wild. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, they have posted it on social media. <laughs> Yules are just like, hey, I carry shit on my back, up a mountain. Now I'm an asshole. Yeah, this guy just sucks <laughs> stuff up his ass. <laughs> yeah, right. It's crazy. Yules are like, what do I have to do with putting throwing up your ass? And this is a, a white guy who played in the NCAA. My, what, what a fall from grace. Not exactly a Cinderella story there. <laughs> guy who keeps trying. <laughs> Take it to the hole. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, I mean, I was talking to someone the other day, and, and she told me she's she's been to his parties. Really? She's like, I've been to some of his parties. I'm like, how was it? She's like, I mean, you see some, sh-? and I'm like, not like that. She's like, no, not like that. But you, you know, a lot of famous people are there, obviously. Mm, and uh, I would go. I mean, if, uh, who, who would turn down a P Diddy party? I mean, look, if I didn't know Me? about Epstein, I probably would have gone to Epstein's. Like, look, of course, we had Louis Black in here talking about it, and and I was like, oh, a, a crazy dinner with a bunch of interesting weirdos. I'll do it. Yeah, Diddy's a molester. <laughs> Diddy, the diddler. Diddler's in super these, trouble, dude. He's in big trouble. Did we break that story? We were pretty close. <laughs> we were early on the diddler. You knew who broke that story? Kanye? Yeah, yeah he broke it the fed, story hard. Dude. 
Ye knew. He no, Ye's not fed. Ye was like Diddy and Meek are fed. Dude, Diddy. 50 is hinting, dude. Yeah. yeah. Big man. He go by at Hove. a lot of things. At Hove being... For them all, a huge swath of the black community already has him on like sus patrol big time. Just oh, it's Illuminati charges. He had early Illuminati charges. Early ones. The Clintons. How do the Clintons get you, dude? If you're a rapper and the Clintons hit you up like, yo, we want you to do this thing. How in the world are they able to get you to yeah, do that? Yeah, it works. Unless... Yeah, that makes sense. That is true. The Clintons ain't gonna just be calling you. Like, who just got the Clintons calling you? That is true, though. Yeah, he go, Hope gonna have to explain some stuff because that that's a little strange. You they just got the Clintons calling you, bro. That that. Well, Obama's was calling everybody too. Who was they calling? I mean, they was around his parties and stuff. Were they not? They. I don't know who was all at the party. I gotta go see. Yeah, I they, well, I feel like when the when I feel like Ob the um the Obamas, they were like by a lot of like rappers and stuff like that. I, feel. I didn't even watch the Epstein Island stuff, so I'm still lost on that. I gotta go watch that documentary and, and get caught up. Mm. See, I don't even know about his business. So, see, I'm, I'm behind. I'm behind. I gotta catch up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was telling you on the way here, Diddy's wife sued allegedly for him bringing the bros through the professional bros dude imagine you're on a date cassie's allegations were that <laughs> the diddler would take her out for a nice dinner and then call like <laughs> the dancing bear troop to come through Did you oh, see yeah. the dude driving outside and he's talking about how diddy has buses filled with little kids coming yeah. to his house at 3 a.m all the time who was white neighbors said that no, no it was the one i was saying was, was, that one was a black <laughs> neighbor that yelled at yeah. L.A., I got tired, man. I got tired of the media trying to smear this great city. Every time I turn on the TV, they're saying you're a bunch of f***ing criminals, drug addicts, and pedophiles, and it's bullshit. No, because I think if I'm right, allegedly, um, it was like a TikTok going around, I think it was. It was this boy, um, he had made, I guess, supposedly, he lives in Diddy's neighborhood or something like that with his mom or something like that, and he made a video and was like, oh, that's why, he's like, yeah, I see the buses come with the kids and everything, like, he made a video, and I think if I'm right, don't come for me. I could be wrong. I think his mom got mad and made him say it was a lie and stuff like that. Damn. I don't think it was real. I don't know, but I remember seeing I mean, the video. It sounded like some Diddy stuff. It I remember seeing like... the video and the little and the boy was and Lil. But the boy, I think the mom was driving or something like that. And he was like, "Oh yeah, that's the house. That's where like they be coming with the buses full of kids." So like, like he said something I like that. I wouldn't doubt it. Diddy ain't around out here. I have to show you the video, I and I, I think uh, I think if I'm right, his mom made him like say like stop stop that's crazy oh, yeah. it's not the whole city that is a very small specific section of the city it's called diddy's house that is listen listen this is the only reason i think he might be guilty uh is the evidence um <laughs> the crazy. evidence is a mother bro but now the other reason is because every celebrity in la has had their home robbed except diddy like Rachel. Rihanna got robbed, and I thought about it. It's like, bro, Robin Diddy is terrifying. Cause what if he's there? You break down the door, he's butt naked on the couch. Meek Mill sitting on his lap, petting him like a Maltese cat. Uh, damn, that's so. Different. Oh my God, he coming for their neck. He's that petting him like a Maltese cat. <laughs> At me. Meek Mill crime. Oh no, wait a minute. I thought you was finished. <laughs> Diddy's like, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> you try to run out. You run out. The door is locked. You're locked in. You turn around. All of a sudden, you hear. No, he did. Go in nowhere. You ain't go nowhere. I can't be stopped now. It's your asshole tonight. Best joke out of all these. This is the class, the most classic one I've heard. Oh my god, Andrew Schultz, you didn't have to do him like that, bro. You did not. You had to do him like that. And then it turns out, like, okay, everybody partying with Puff Daddy. Oh, that's that is interesting. The Diddy stuff is like he really seems to be a super, a gay super villain. Well, well, the, well, the, well the, the, you know, the, the the most crazy part about all of that is that there there is this very 
specific brand of like homophobia right that's deeply embedded in hip hop of course and puffy is such an integral part of hip hop right 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 so right, to be right, like right. because at, at, because at that point i don't it's not even a matter of like is he gay it's just like he's just rich and powerful <laughs> right I mean? right it's like, he's evil it's like and like making it. making the most homophobic guys black cool rappers right. do gay sh is the most powerful thing you can do. It's like Caligula. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I mean? yeah. You've you, stripped the like the laugh. toughest dudes of their humanity. Yeah, it's it's like, like he's basically he's he's the black Hillary Clinton. Like if you think about out. it. You want to hit? <laughs> you want to hit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Can you imagine being that guy and then you looking around like, did y'all do this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No lie. Now I've had to turn down fifty million dollars four times. Four times, Four times, just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling <laughs> you about. Right, because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. So far. I did. He said I did. Cat, Cat went, look, Cat, that interview right there, Cat wow. aired it out. And Hollywood is falling. Hollywood is under rap boy. It is coming down, and I'm liking it. I it just burned it. Just send me some money. That's all I ask. Yeah. If you gonna burn, look. If Diddy gonna go to jail, just send me some money before you go, cause they gonna seize it all anyway. So you might as well bless the people. Well, That's all I'm saying. You, you gonna go fun. down, send me a couple of dollars. I'll put it on your books every now and then. I put a little something, something on your books. Just send it to me. We've already heard from over 20 different comedians, but we still have 14 more comics to go. Like a Diddy type thing? No, Diddy seems to be a closeted gay, billionaire mogul, uh, kind mm. of a sadomasochist uh, rape guy. Oh my gosh. I don't mean that per se. What I mean is like a straight guy is, they're starting to have sex with trans people. Mm. So now the P. Diddy thing, which like for two years, I would tell people it's hilarious. I mean, it's horrific, but it's also hilarious that it was like the big secret that P. Diddy would make a bunch of these guys his dick and do weird shit. <laughs> oh, do you think the government does it? Well, P. Diddy does it. Uh, you, because they, they're saying he has like video cameras set up in his house. Oh, that dude's a freaking half. Jennifer Lopez went for an HIV test yesterday. She's sweating. <laughs> you know, you have these dreams as a young man of who you want to be when you get older. And you're like, you know, I want to be a man of power or I want to be a CEO, whatever dream you have and then you attain it and then i don't know these guys get crazy man they get, get crazy cool. with the women and it, it's just unreal if you get into his kind of nonsense where he's uh, you know wanting to control it, manipulate it, people to own people. people yeah the documentary finna be fired what, a, what yeah that is gonna be good on netflix that Gonna be Diddy the diddler. What do they what do they say? Do they get him? You can't find anything. A lot of memes. Yeah, a well, lot of the best. It's gonna be meme city. Yeah, you yeah. know? That's never gonna fucking stop. Once it once that gate opens up for the internet to have at you yeah. like that, it's especially old. when they catch you. It's shoot. done. Well, I saw an interview that Usher gave on Stern 10 years ago or something yeah. like that, and he was talking about he went to a thing called Diddy's Flavor Camp. Do you even know what this is? You ever heard of this? I heard about the party. You heard about the Flavor Camp. You you, you had You know what that's giving you know. South Park super what is it? Super uh something? Super Front Adventures oh, or something the Super like Adventure that. Club. The Super Adventures Club. First of all, I'm not going to no flavor nothing. Don't, don't, listen. One of my friends can invite me to their birthday party, and if it say, what, is it, what do you say it's called? The flavor what? Super Flavor. Super Flavor. I mean, Flavor World. Something. I don't know. Don't flavor send me something. no invitation with no flavor or nothing. Bro, like, I'm not going. What, 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 what are we doing? What are we talking about? What if you want to take you to No, no. Did he on your own with this, bro? What's the, how, uh, what's his name said? Mr. I ain't going. That's me. Playing naked basketball? What the fuck? No, tell me. My mama me. told me about that. My what is said this? They, Diddy was over there playing naked basketball, which is crazy. What the fuck? Naked basketball, they just say, anybody go, you want to play naked basketball? No. <laughs> Absolutely nigga. not. That's Absolutely crazy. Not. That is crazy as shit. Where naked was basketball he doing? is the same thing. At, at his place? I guess, I guess. And had I all those know. people over with, naked yeah. Naked basketball. Yeah. Jamie Foxx was playing naked basketball? He was saying he played naked basketball. Yeah. It's crazy. Jamie Foxx. I played naked basketball with some bad. Yeah, bad but naked. that's not naked basketball at that point. That's, that's just that's a porn I've seen before. Yeah, <laughs> <you're> not wrong. <laughs> he is so nasty. What was he searching? That he looking at oh, basketball for? Like, what you watching, bro? That's a turn on. I ain't never seen that category ever. Like, what are you talking about? Cam Patterson in the 12. <laughs> yeah, 12 deep. Yeah, the bench off the bench with Cam All Patterson. The Cam Patterson. <laughs> That's hard. Doing that, it. Shit, that shit I feel like I've seen before. Nah, naked basketball insane. There is no sport that can be played without clothes on. That's no. absurd. You need to wear clothes. But I do believe that when you hear these stories, I know that they're 
conspiracy theory shit. Yeah. I believe every second that he was playing naked basketball. You hear the P. Diddy shit? It sounds like a fucking hip hop history nightmare. But it really just sounds like a fucking Tuesday night my parents are going party at a White House. <laughs> Honest, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you guys want to play naked basketball? That'll be hilarious. Right, right, right. <laughs> Wait, did P. Diddy make people play naked basketball? I think that was his, right? P. Diddy? Mm. Is that real? Yeah, or Jamie Foxx. It might be Jamie Foxx. That might have been That's the accusation. Crazy. I've heard that. Naked yeah. basketball. Uh, Which is weird how that gets out. You're like, listen, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Jamie. My head's not going to be in the game. Ten not I'm to just believe saying it. if I'm on your team, yeah. I'm a liability right, if we're playing naked I, basketball. I just don't know the f money you could be paying security guys and, like, your handlers to, to not do that. what they're doing to P. Diddy particularly. Right. Like, how do you pay them to go, I guess, he goes, hey, listen, I'm giving you a fair wage. You're going to drive me around. I'm going to treat you like sh and then you also don't ever tell anybody that I suck off a bunch of dudes when yeah. uh, after midnight. Right. Well, it's a completely different document, but also called an NDA. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's full of Their heroes are crashing like waves, and they just don't know who to believe. P. Diddy was a couple years ago giving a cheers with the finest champagne at a black billionaire's brunch, <laughs> and now it's been found out that he's a sex trafficker. A legend. Uh, yeah, uh, nobody... <laughs> Makes those <laughs> accusations if there isn't truth. It's like everybody's Bill Cosby now. The heroes are falling one by one, and nobody knows what to believe because nobody talks to their own fucking father anymore. You know? Do you know the things that P. Diddy must have done to Justin Bieber's Oh, alleged. Jesus Christ, he treated it like a locksmith. Alleged. It wasn't Usher over there too as a kid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Usher man. Justin. I don't know, man. Y'all got TD Jakes over there hanging out. The pastor going to hang out. I'm everybody. telling you, I swear, I think everybody's I think at the Obamas House. over there too. They like, pop, listen, over there. Like, there was a lot of people. Yeah, maybe, that. maybe it was like, oh, they go for the party, but then like when it was the after, after hours. hours. Hit, yeah, they maybe go. it was like innocent when people went. But it was like that after hours, the after party. Like, you know, your close friends stay later. I know. DJ Khaled was over there, I think, too. His wife probably looking at him like, what was you doing? You came home late one night. But it sucks because what about the people that have, like, for example, he's always been around them and always with them and stuff like that. So it's like those pictures and everything. It's like, yeah. damn, now you are. It's like that thing, that thing when, um, when like you're with somebody and you could be innocent, but because yeah, you're hanging that's out with what them, I'm saying. You imagine, I can't think of that imagine being like one of the celebrities, right? You married or whatever, you're your yeah. girl, and then she, she like this start coming out, and she say, "Remember that you was over there a few times and came home at 3 a.m. Mm. What was you doing? Mm. Now you exactly. gotta defend yourself." Nah, see, he was like, "I can't figure this lock out. This is gonna take a while. This is a new type of lock. We don't have replacements for." It. And he just was in there digging around on it. Who knows what that guy's doing? But listen, if anywhere is anyone is wearing sun this anyone is wearing sunglasses inside with the lights on, they're hiding their eyes. There's something off. Cause yeah. what is that? Who does that? Rock and roll guys who bang sixteen year olds, fifteen year olds, they wear their sunglasses inside. Okay, I don't know what Slash is up to, but it ain't nothing good. No, you are literally bigger than ever. It's incredible. I see you on the P. Diddy affidavit. <laughs> Yo, ass. Uh, you was in a swimming pool with Meat Mill. Yeah. <laughs> well, no one knows more about being puffy than you do. So. Oh, it's a P. There Diddy you joke. You be puffy in the morning from that AIDS medication, nigga. Yo, ass. You are notoriously B.I.G. <laughs> And you are notorious F.A.G. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. They, they killed. That they, roast is. They, they, he lost. Sorry, you lost. He was getting ate up. OMG. This was that a solid was... video. I thought, you know what? I know at the beginning of this video, I was like, oh, yeah, we uh, we got away from the funny side. But mm -hmm. this was, act this video turned funny. It's just crazy because this just goes to show you like how they all have something different to say. Yeah. That's... None of them said the same thing. Man, it's gonna be so the people. Just goes to show you. They gonna have to pull that. Let's just see who was pulling up at the party. That's what's gonna happen. They gonna have to just start talking because that that's what's gonna get the evidence out. But then his wife took that ex wife took that deal where she only said some stuff, and then okay. after she got the money, well, she said, they can't use they her said, stuff in court. No, she. They said that it was enough some that of it. opened it. Yeah, but her, half her stuff can't be used in court it's okay. because she signed a. It's whatever. okay. She opened it. That that's all that needed to be done. Yeah, she, she opened, opened it. The, she cracked the door. She did. She, she did. cracked the door enough that you could peek and see what was in there. And everybody coming in. Drake Pie was over there. Jake Pye was over there. We not finna start with that. He's over there. Let's not yeah, start with that. Yeah, there you a 69 God. Yeah, he's over there. Hey, hey, Anyways, hey. I bet you when that, hey, it's the good thing Diddy can't throw the ball parties because he'd probably be happy with the end of that song. He'd probably be like, you freaky. He'd be like, oh, this is my jam, 69 God. He'd be like, you right. You right, Kendrick. You own something. He would have been like, you right, daddy. That's how he talk. You better watch out.
they just heard you talk to them like that's that. how he was talking so to me you just talked to grown men some are grown men that you i'm not talking to them directly to them though no nah, i don't play me i didn't talk directly mm-hmm. to them i look that way standing i didn't even look at the camera mm-hmm. Don't y'all come in the comment section saying nothing. Let us know what you guys thought about it down below in the comment section. How y'all feeling about it. Give us your opinions. I mean, is there any tea that we have not sipped on? Yeah, if y'all got some, send the videos. Send the content. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit that like button. Until next time.